Hello, I'm Caroline. I'm a speech and language assistant, um, particularly specialising in early years. And um, I'm here today to share another top tip with you um, as to how you can easily boost your child's vocabulary and help their early language skills immensely. So um, today I'm going to be talking about the use of nursery rhymes in your everyday life with your child. Um, Children love singing, they love repetition, and the words from nursery rhymes have just been so cleverly chosen that you can incorporate it into all sorts of experiences that you're having with your child when it's raining, it's raining, it's pouring, when you see some stars, twinkle, twinkle, little stars, and then they're associating a word with an object as well. So um, a really fun, easy way of doing this is to um, have some kind of song bag, song box. I've had this for years and just have had endless fun with all the children that I've worked with with it. They love putting their hand in and choosing a song and this one is the Grand Old Duke of York. So you can do this yourself just by printing some pictures off or you can have objects that you've got around the house. Um, for wind the bobbin up you could have a cotton spool um, but you can also do all the actions with your child which they absolutely love active learning is the best way for young children to um to learn they don't like sitting still and that's why these sorts of ones are great as well because you can actually be the marching soldier row 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 the boat as you can see in my background here row 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 the boat is a fantastic um cooperative um, playing song. Um, bar Bar Black Sheep, when you see some sheep in the field, you can obviously change that to Bar Bar White Sheep if the, the, sheep, the majority of the sheep that we see are white. And um, the wheels on the bus, if you're having a bus journey or you see some bus, Bar Little Ducks when you're feeding the ducks. So it, it, it becomes really natural once you start the process um, and maybe you refresh your memory by watching um, some Mercy Rhymes on YouTube or listening to them in Am on Amazon Music, that sort of thing in the background. You'll be amazed at how many you actually know and you've just forgotten. So, um, yeah, basically a child that starts a setting knowing at least eight Nursery Rhymes off by heart um, they are the best readers at eight years old because they've picked up so many skills um, just from singing and saying nursery rhymes. The repetition helps with memory and helps to kickstart their speaking and listening skills, which is invaluable when they start in a setting. Um, they boost their vocab. As I say, you can make it a real interactive um, activity as well. You can get musical instruments out. If you haven't got musical instruments, a saucepan, you can make some shakers with a bottle and rice. Um, the possibilities are endless and it's definitely one of my favourite daily activities uh, with all the children that I work with. Okay, thanks for listening.